When I was in school, I wasn't waking up at five in the morning, jumping in for a cold shower and then meditating. Bro, no one had time for that. I barely wanted to get up to go to school. And I'm sure most guys that are going to school probably feel the same way. You see a morning routine, it just doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna show you a simple and effective morning routine that you should do before school that will get you better grades, make you more attractive, and more importantly, give you the confidence to attract any girl you like. Start with number one. You're gonna use this alarm trick to get out of bed quicker. I developed this alarm trick a long time ago and to understand it, you're going to have to understand something called strategic self-regulation. This is when you create tactics or strategies to manage your own behaviors and navigate difficult situations more effectively. And look, I get it because when you're at school, there is no situation more difficult than getting out of bed. So this is why I came up with this trick. So it's simple. You're gonna grab your phone and you're gonna set up two alarms. Your main alarm should go off when you have to wake up, let's say at seven in the morning, but you should set up a second alarm 30 minutes before that. For example, 6.30 in the morning. Then when the first alarm goes off the next morning at 6.30, I want you to get up and hit the snooze button. Now this is on purpose because a study found that when you snooze for only 30 minutes, it has zero impact on participants fatigue and actually improved cognitive function. Meaning that when you do it, you're not gonna feel all groggy when you snooze. Now you have to do one last trick. When you get up and snooze that phone, I want you to slide your phone across the floor. That way when the second alarm goes off, not only are you not gonna be fatigued, you're also forced to get out of bed to get up and snooze the phone. This is not entirely gonna get rid of the fact of you wanting to go back into bed. For that, need tip number two, sleep on half your bed. For this to make sense, you need to understand something called self-efficacy and your ability to achieve goals throughout the day. In other words, that ability starts in the morning as soon as you wake up and it'll either go up or down from here. So making your bed is one of those decisions that will take it upwards. Now because most people hate making their bed, me included, I developed my own trick where I would literally sleep on only half my bed. The trick is simple. Make sure that your bed on the, on the side that you won't sleep in is always nicely tucked. Then every night, you only lift up half the bed and you sleep in that side. Now, after using the alarm trick and you actually being out of bed, you literally just have to flip your sheets over and your bed is done in less than one minute. Now. When you complete the task of making your bed though, it reinforces your own belief and your ability to achieve a desired outcome. And this increased self-efficacy will lead to greater confidence and also motivation in tackling other tasks and challenges throughout the day. For example, like talking to the girl you like. Now we're just two steps into your morning routine and already the trajectory of your mindset is in an upward trajectory. But I still have five more things I want you to do before you get to school so you can be on your best game. Number three, you will eliminate bad odors to improve your attractiveness. Now, you might be wondering why I'm fully dressed in the shower, but it's because we're about to do a science experiment. See, when I was in school, I would say pretty much 90% of dudes smelled bad. They just didn't smell good. And that was because they didn't know how to shower properly. They didn't know how to take off the bacteria, which is what's causing your bad odors throughout your day. So I'm gonna show you the best way to shower by comparing the three showering techniques most of you guys use. So I will be comparing washing my body with my hands, washing with a washcloth, and washing with my PMD silicone body scrubber. Now to do this correctly, I will be using this thing called Glow Germ Gel. This simulates germ infestation or germ spread throughout the body. Now, when you apply a blue light to this, and you see all that? That's all germ infestation. And now we're gonna see what cleaning method is the best to remove all that bacteria. So to do this fairly, I will wash my right arm for 20 seconds with body wash using my hand. I will wash the middle of my body using a towel and body wash for 20 seconds. And finally, I will wash my left arm with the silicone scrubber for 20 seconds as well. And at the end, we're gonna find out which method cleared the most bacteria to keep you smelling fresh. Let's get started, all right? I mean, it's pretty smooth. Definitely no exfoliation. Keep in mind, your hands are also full of germs. I mean, as you can see. So really, you're just transferring more germs onto your other arm. Uh, feels good, but I think this is what most men do. I think most people just use their hands to shower in the bathroom. So we're gonna see how superior it is. That's it. Okay, so now we do washcloth for 20 seconds. This thing sucks at, at soaping up. So definitely feels better. More exfoliation for sure. It's not rough at all. Um, the one thing I used to use a wash glass to shower. The one thing is that after about two showers, you have to wash it again. You can almost see it looks a little dark already. You never want to reuse this more than two times. 
Finally, we're gonna do a left arm with my PMD silicone scrubber. I put the soap on, I turn it on to vibrate, and here we go. Uh, I mean, you can almost tell already just how much better it scrubs in there. And I've told you this before, but when you compare it side by side, the same shower, you immediately feel the difference of how it enters your skin. Like it feels like it's really getting it in there into your pores. You can see it suds up nicely. 20 seconds. All right, we're done. Now we rinse off. A little bit. Let's see some shreers. See a few dots here. Not terrible. Honestly, because the towel is just smear your eating all over. Yeah, at least with your hand, because you're putting soap on your hand. Okay, that makes sense. And then finally, PMD. PMD. Look at how smooth the skin looks there. All right, so in other words, if you got nothing else, use your hands. But the best thing you could possibly do to smell better is remove bacteria. Remember, bacteria is what smells bad. You remove this right every morning using a good scrubber like this one from PMD. Bro, this one has a, what I like about this, it even has a handle so it never slips off. Can reach the back get all that bacteria i promise you you're gonna start smelling better now if you don't have a good scrubber obviously your next best choice just use your hand clearly it did way better than using a towel and think about it a towel it'll collect bacteria it'll start to mold it'll do all this with your hand at least you're washing it with soap and with the silicone scrubber like this from pfd because silicone is naturally antibacterial you never have to worry about it collecting dirt and in my opinion it's a purchase all men should make because you buy it once you'll never have to buy it again i've had this for the longest now the coolest thing with the pmd also is that it comes with multiple heads in the back so if you do want to use like a loofah style it comes with a loofah style head and it comes with a massaging head so you can even give yourself a massage outside or inside the shower like if you're sore from the gym i'm sore from the gym all the time you give yourself a massage if you guys want to check out the pmd tool it's fully rechargeable it'll easily be the best tool to add in your bathroom to get you to smell better i'm going to have it linked down below i'm also going to put a special discount that's going to make it insanely affordable if you guys want to check it out it'll be linked down below number four use this protein hack to gain more muscle you have to understand that any guy watching that's between the ages of 16 and 22 you have high levels of human growth hormone and testosterone running through your body this makes it easier for you to gain muscle and that muscle that you gain right now that you're young will stay with you as you age this is why it's crucial for you now that you're young to start every day with high protein so here's a quick and healthy protein snack i make every morning that you can replicate first grab a scoop of protein powder whichever flavor you like one egg half a teaspoon of baking powder and then two teaspoons of water into a mug then microwave the mug for 40 seconds and just like that you now have a delicious high protein snack to start your day and help capitalize on all the muscle building hormones that are running through your body number five study the art of taking exams you see when it comes to taking exams and getting grades at school there's three types of students you have the first guy doesn't care doesn't even try you don't want to be this guy. You have to understand that the abilities you build now in school of being smart and hardworking are not only desirable for women, but will also be beneficial to you as you scale in your life. The second type of student is the one that believes by working super hard, they're going to get good results. And yes, that is true, but they'll never get as far as the third type of student. The third type of student understands that getting good grades and being disciplined is important, but they also understand that it's a game. It's a rigged system, and like any system, you can play it like a video game. When you look at life like this, you will always think outside the box. You will be a problem solver. And this is the type of man I want you to be. So here's a quick hack to take better exams. When you're eating your breakfast every morning, I want you to start looking over practice exams. The reason for this is that most exams are recycled year over year over year with only slight variations to the questions. And one study found a direct link between the amount of practice exams taken and the high grades you achieve. Simply put, the more practice exams that you study, the better your grades will be and you don't even have to crack open a textbook. And if you do it every morning while you're eating breakfast, you're not even gonna feel like you're studying and you're gonna be leagues ahead of your competition. Number six, untangle your mind by brain dumping. Look, I get it, between school and pressures of social media, being a student can be hard. So here's a quick technique I want you to use right after breakfast and study so you can clear your mind and get prepared for the day. I want you to start by sitting in front of a laptop or a notebook. Then you're gonna write down everything currently going through your mind. I suggest doing at least these three. What you wanna achieve, your worries, what has you up at night, and your thoughts. 
What constantly are you thinking about? It doesn't matter if it's clean. The point here is to brain dump all of that onto a physical piece of paper. Just try this once and I promise you, this will relieve stress, anxiety, and any sort of worriness you might feel and get you prepared for the day. Now, think about it. At this point, you've gone out of bed on time because of your alarm. You've made your bed, so you start your day by winning. You smell amazing because you have a proper grooming routine. You've had your daily intake of protein. You've studied and are prepared to take any exam and have now untangled your mind. When you compare that morning routine to the morning routine of most of your friends, just think about how far ahead you're gonna be at school. You're gonna be going to school and it's gonna feel like you're on easy mode. And I have one more thing I want you to do. Number seven, every student needs five essentials in their backpack. And I'm gonna show you strategically what you need. The first one is key. Every guy needs to have one clean white t-shirt in there. The white t-shirt will always look good. And whether you spill something on you or you sweat through it while you're in PE class, you're gonna want a fresh tee that you can put on so you still look good, still feel confident. Next, every student, needs gum. No girl's gonna talk to you if you have bad breath, and there's even been studies that show that chewing gum can increase your confidence. Number three, every student needs a good fragrance. It's a confidence booster. Think about it. The girl you like is in a specific class. You spray this once or twice on your neck before stepping into the class. You're gonna be drawing attention. You're gonna feel like the man all day. Then, iPhone charger, self-explanatory for your own phone, or to help the girl you like. Bro, I'm just I'm trying to hook you up here, bro. And then finally, you want a good pen, something to write with, because we're here to get good grades, obviously, right? And we want to look good doing so. And a good pair of headphones. Something quality, in case you share it with your girl. And that's basically it. You guys do all the seven things I just showed you. By the time you get to school, you're going to be leagues ahead of any of your competition.